Hello, I'm Mike Stoklasa, owner of Red Letter Media, an internet conglomerate corporation, currently in Chapter 11 bankruptcy. And with me today is... Hello, I'm Jay. I'm just a really big uh, fan of movies. I'm what you might call a film geek, as they say, or a movie nerd. Uh, however you want to label it. I just, I just love movies. And uh, I'm Rich Evans. And, and I'd, I'd like, like to talk, talk about our sponsor today, which is uh, Garnier Fructis uh, Hair Net. Products hey, for Men. Hey, guys, one sponsor at a time. <laughs> now, I'm sure you at home have noticed our brand new set, which is courtesy of Sony Pictures. Very, Very cool. cool. Very, Very cool. cool. It's amazing. It's simply amazing. Now, on an unrelated note, I'd like to talk about a couple new movies that are coming out this year that we're very excited about. Very excited. Oh, very excited. Yes, very yes. excited. So excited. Smurfs, The Lost Village. I can't wait. Spider-Man, Homecoming, The Dark Tower, The Emoji Movie, and the Jumanji remake, which I am personally very excited about. The Rock, very cool. It's going to be a big cool. film. It's going to be a huge film. It's going to be huge. But Mike, when can we talk about the new Justice League trailer? Hold tight, Rich. We both know you're really excited about that film. How do we know that? Because we secretly filmed you watching the trailer. Check it out. You what? <sighs> right. Let's watch this shit. Okay. Justice League trailer official. <sighs> what? Is that a horse? Amazing trailer. Simply amazing. Now, Rich, before we get to that, though, we need to talk about all the new and exciting things happening in the world of Star Wars. Which is not to be confused with Star Wars Land, opening in 2019. Tickets available soon. Yeah, yes, so many new and exciting things going on with Star Wars. A series that has been creatively bankrupt since 1983. What did he just say? I don't know. I wasn't listening. I was enjoying this hot beverage. Well, me personally, guys, I love Marvel and DC, but I think Star Wars is my favorite verse. Verse? Short for expanded universe, gosh. Get with the long-form storytelling, multi-film connected expanded universe, Grandpa. Very cruel. Very cruel. Now, this might be old news to some of you out there, but recently, Bob showed Disney shareholders some exclusive footage from Episode 8. Now, Mike, uh, when you say Bob, you may have to explain who you're talking about. Oh, I'm sorry. Bob Iger, Disney CEO. Yeah, just very yes, cool. Yes. Very cool. I took a photo with him at a convention once. Oh, very cool. Very, very cool. cool. So you, you have the inside scoop then. Uh, we, we rapped about the biz. You know, I okay. said, I said, well, he said, who are you? Uh, get away from me. And I said, can I have a photo with you? And, and then, you know, he, I said, I know who you are. You're Bob Iger. You're the, the CEO of Disney. And he, he said, he said, what do you want money? Uh, he said he was going to call the police. Okay. Um, and I said, uh, this is a little embarrassing, but I said, tell me what, what the plans are with Star Wars and I'll stick. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I think anyone in your position would make yeah, that same offer. Yeah. yeah. And then, you know, uh, somebody pushed me down, and uh, I, I can't really remember much after that. But uh, yeah, me and Bob, we go way back. We go way back. Very cool. Very cool. Very cool. Anyway, here's what we know. So, guys, according to my friend Dan, who is an industry insider, here's what wait, we wait, know. Wait, wait, so wait. Do you mean Daniel Miller, the L.A. Times reporter? Yeah, he, he tweeted all this weeks ago. Every, everybody knows this, Mike. What we know so far is that the first line of dialogue in episode eight is, who are you? Oh, wow. And this, wow, wow. And this line of dialogue is spoken by Luke Skywalker. Now, I think this line of dialogue speaks volumes because it's not just a literal who are you. It's, who are you? And really, that just gives me the chills. Oh, wow. So, so Luke talks in the film. 
And another shocking revelation revealed is that Ray has been seen using a lightsaber. She she did in the last film. What? In, in, in The Force Awakens. I know, and it was very cool. Now, Mike, I think the question that we need to ask is, whose lightsaber is it? That's a good question. Does she continue to use the Skywalker Those lightsaber? Are very good does Luke have one of his own? Yeah. Or does he help her build one as part of her Jedi training? That's a very good question. There are literally three possibilities. Now, I also learned from my friend Dan that episode eight is going to treat us to many new vistas. Ooh, ooh, I love those vistas. Mountains. Ooh. Forests. Oh. Oceans. Ooh. Deserts. Sky. So many vistas. Dirt. Oh. Ice. So many vistas. Water. Air. Probably the inside of a spaceship. And other vistas. So many vistas. Will the desert planet be Tatooine? Will it be Jakku? Or will it be a totally new desert planet? Is the forest that Dan spoke of Endor? I literally have two questions. Now, Mike, while I am super stoked for episode 8 and 9, as well as episodes 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25, what I am really looking forward to is the standalone Han Solo prequel film. That's right, Jay. Well, me personally, I'm very excited to learn about how Han Solo got his name, where he got his blaster or his famous belt. But most importantly, I'm excited to learn how he met Chewbacca. Now, I think most of you know that George Lucas had originally planned to have Han Solo raised by Chewbacca as a small boy on the Wookiee planet Kashyyyk. Now, I think Disney is scrapping that idea because it's totally gay and they're going with something more epic and awesome and forgettable. I, I mean, memorable, memorable. But Mike, I think the most important thing that we will learn is how Han Solo got the Millennium Falcon. All right, let's give it up for the Falcon. <laughs> Woo! Yes! Yes! The Millennium Falcon. I'm familiar with it. And you know, Jay, we are guaranteed an appearance by the Millennium Falcon because they released that cast photo. And in the photo, I see the cockpit for the Millennium Falcon. I saw that. I recognized it. And I appreciated that they put something in the film that I've seen before. Yeah, I mean, how can you make a Han Solo prequel film without having the Millennium Falcon? People would fucking riot. And as much as I love Star Wars, which I do, me personally, I love Star Wars. Uh, I always thought the original films lacked that backstory for Han Solo. And that's really what held those movies back from being as good as they could be. Well, I want to know how Han Solo got his boot. And I want to know what kind of boots they are. It's very important because those boots walked around on the inside of a giant space slug where Minoc attacked the Falcon. And so is, are those boots acid resistant? Are, are like, what are they made out of? Are they Carillion armor? This was a, 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 a gross oversight in the original trilogy. And, and to me, nothing says Star Wars like Woody Harrelson. He... he bought those boots at the space store. Rich, I'm fact checking this on Wikipedia and I don't see anything listed about a space store. Is there a specific name? Did we just uncover, like, do you have an insider that has given you this information? This is, this is breaking news, everybody. Breaking news. Breaking, breaking news. news. You were hearing it here first, courtesy of Rich Evans. Han Solo bought his boots at the space store. Now, what planet would that be on? You, you can't, you can't be fucking serious. I mean, Jesus fucking Christ, does every fucking detail in the goddamn Star Wars... Guys, I think it's finally time to talk about the Justice League trailer, and it looks amazing. That's right, Rich. And while the footage was very difficult to see, dour, depressing, dark, uninspired, monochromatic and sickening, it is one of the best trailers I've ever seen in my whole life. Now, I think that the lack of rain and lightning was a very nice touch. It shows that they're willing to, uh, you know, lighten things up a little bit. <laughs> What's interesting too, Jay, is that DC seems to be shifting towards a formula like Marvel uses. 
That's true, Mike. There was many LOL moments in this trailer, especially uh, this one from Bruce Wayne. What are your superpowers again? I'm rich. At least I think that was Bruce Wayne. The image was very dark. It could have been uh, Aquaman. Or a homeless man. Yeah, because I've always seen Batman as a comic relief character. Batman can be very funny, Rich. Haven't you seen the Lego Batman movie? It's very funny. And me personally, I love this trend of including pop songs in these comic book movies as a kind of a counterbalance. Uh, a concept that was originally pioneered by the film Guardians of the Galaxy. It, uh, uh, how do you say, broke new ground. That's right. First in this trailer, we hear the song Seven Nation Army by Jack Black. Well, technically, Jay, the band is called the White Keys. The, the song is called The Hardest Button to Button by the White Stripes. Then, of course, the second song used in the trailer is Come Together, which operates on many levels, mainly one. I think the foresight in using that particular song was genius. Well, speaking of the song Come Together, me personally, I love the Rolling Stones, so I got very excited when I heard that song in this trailer. One of their best tunes. Ironically, all the DC fanboys that watched this trailer, they also came together. Audience, come together. Come together in theaters around the world, mainly China, uh, to watch this film. Oh, I was talking about ejaculating. Well, let's talk about the plot to this movie. Uh, and one interesting note, no sign of Superman anywhere in the Justice League trailer. Now, why is that? Where's Superman? Where's Superman in this trailer? I saw Lois Lane, but they haven't shown a Superman yet. Well, he, he, he died in the last film. What? In, in Man of Steel, Superman died? No, he died in Batman versus Superman. It was the finale of, of the film. Oh, shit. I totally fucking forgot that happened. I, I mean, what a memorable scene. It was a very emotional, very memorable scene. Very touching. Very, very moving. Touching, very Did that touching. movie already come out? Now, guys, I'm going to go out on a limb and I'm going to make some predictions about the film, okay? One, the movie will look like a muddy rain puddle, a visual equivalent of a pothole. Now, Mike, I know a lot of people dog on Zack Snyder for his visual style, uh, because when you think of the Justice League, I think generally people think of something more colorful like this. But really, the idea of taking a fun group of superheroes saving the day and giving it the visual style that makes it look like footage of the Holocaust is really a bold choice. And bold choices should be celebrated, not criticized. Yeah, not not criticized. Not criticized at all. In fact, any any uh, anyone criticizing the film should be silenced by force. Because I think the problem is that these films are just too smart for some people. They are so confident in their vision that they are constantly second guessing themselves and changing their decisions at the last minute. Yeah. which really shows how much they care. Yeah, they're they're just following suit and whatever is popular at the moment, and, and like a bellwether, changing directions. At, at the slightest breeze. But but only when it comes to music and humor. And I think that's the, the really interesting thing that they're doing is that regardless of these comedic elements they add to their films, uh, their movies still look like a fucking nightmare. They're, they're wise enough to see the criticisms of their films and then keep the things that are criticized and change other things. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, no, Jay, you, you don't eat shampoo. Oh, so, so my question now is, now that we have you know, the full trailer for the Justice League movie, what, what kind of information can we get about the movie itself based on the trailer? That's right. So many great films to look forward to. What? Oh, oh, is your, is your phone? Yeah. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, no. oh my God. Oh, oh, I, uh, oh, this is breaking news. The Spider-Man Homecoming full trailer is now online. Oh my oh, God. Oh, wow, wow. Oh. 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 Uh, Todd from Sony's calling me. You got to take this. Oh, shit. Okay, okay. Hey, Todd, what's up? 
Oh, f- yeah. fuck. There's already been 36,000 trailer reaction videos on YouTube. We're already behind the curve, oh, Rich. Shit. No, no. I haven't seen it yet. I am doing a show on the... Ju- is it Justice League? The Justice League, yeah. Oh, yeah. Justice League. It's the, new, Just- the new DC product. Okay, okay. Yeah, I, I, I get them all confused. Yeah, ju- the Justice League. That's different than Avengers, right? Yeah, okay. Uh, no, I'm going to check out this uh, the Spider-Man thing after we're wrapped here. Uh, and then, you know, we'll get a breakdown ready and going soon. I just got 15 emails uh, from, from the higher-ups. They want us to talk about Spider-Man Homecoming yeah, yeah, today. Yeah, yeah. yeah to, like, like now. We're get, we're gonna get to it. I haven't even watched the fucking trailer yet. Did the check clear? Do I like it? They're saying to downplay the fact that this is the third reboot. Okay. Uh, and and to not mention Tobey Maguire or Andrew Garfield. Uh, to Sony, they don't exist anymore in those movies. Sure, exist. sure. Okay. All right. Um, that sounds good, Todd. Uh, we will get shooting on this right away. We're gonna have to remember to cut all this. Yeah. Uh, note to our editor: make sure you cut all this out yeah. of the final video. Of yeah. Course. Um. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we'll get this up probably in 24 hours or less. Um, we should probably have it up quicker than that. Yeah, hopefully 12. Um, we can save time. We'll watch the trailer afterwards. Yeah. Todd wants it up within the hour. Okay, we can um, do that. Well, the problem is is Rick, our editor, he's at the hospital. His wife's having a baby. Oh, but fuck. I know, that fucking bitch. L- listen, I, I will tell him to, to, to get here ASAP. I know this is important. It's another superhero film, and it's a big deal. Um and you know we got to get the word out. So yeah, I'll 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 call Rick right now, and we'll get this we'll get this shit going. Um, uh, all right, Todd. Yeah, 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 yeah. Best. Bye. Oh, I'll be right back. I have to go take my abandonment. <laughs>